It was just an awesome, awesome experience, and it's something I'll tell my kids for years and years to come. Before today, what was your best memory of Williams Wright Stadium? Was there a game that you saw? Uh, there was uh, when they beat Alabama. I was there when they beat Al when Alabama was number one, and they beat Alabama. I was there for that game, so that's that's probably the best memory I have. I'm guessing since this. you know after. Yeah, this is way better. <laughs> yeah, this is way better. So. Were you working that game or just here as a fan? I was working that game. Yes, sir. Tyler, it looked like you took like two steps and then. Clear path to the goal line there on that touchdown. I mean, were you, what were, were, you, were you surprised to see that much open space? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's definitely surprised to see that much open space. But um, we had a play called. Dom checked it over, um, and uh, the offensive line blocked it perfectly. Um, and I just and I just ran. You know, I, no one no one really touched me. And you know, that's that's the credit to the offensive line um, for for blocking and, and doing a great job. What's the name of the play? Uh, I, I'll, I'll, uh, I won't release that. <laughs> did Coach Houston bring up what Paul Feinbaum said last year about when you guys were playing Florida State and about it's better for FSU to play a high school team? And Does that factor, not that South Carolina disrespected you, Dave, but again, it's another FBS opponent, major conference opponent. Did that factor in? It doesn't affect how a play goes off, but just in the motivation and the emotion. You know, I mean, we played, yeah, we played Florida State last year. Um, I, I think this team is, is a lot different than the team we had last year. Um, but, you know, none of those things, none of the outside things, the media, you know, all that stuff, that's that's outside stuff. That's just noise. Uh, we try to keep everything within the team. Um, coach just, I mean, coach preached us all week. Just play hard, do what you do, um, play your position. Um, just do what we do every day in practice. And, and we're going to go out there and, and let the chips fall where they may. And, you know, by the grace of God, you know, we, we pulled out a great game today, a great team win. It was 14-3. to three. Um, well, How important was it for you guys to start early and kind of keep the, the pedal to the metal on those? Oh, it was definitely important. You know, coming out of the half, we, we needed to have a good drive um, going and, and have good momentum coming out. Um, you know, but we, we just kept on just kept on playing the defense. You know, like I said, the defense made great plays down the stretch, the offense. We just kept on trucking, getting, you know, piling on yards and, you know, every, every play just hitting them hard and, and just playing, doing what we do every day in practice. When did you know you were gone on that touchdown? Did you know as soon as you got to the hole, or did you keep worrying that somebody was back behind you about to get you? Hey, <laughs> you never know. You know, South Carolina's a fast team. You know, um, you never know if someone's gonna catch you. But I just, I kept running. I was running as fast as I could, and um, you know, if someone caught me, someone caught me. If, but you know, luckily I, I got to the end zone, and, and that was that. Like you've ever run faster in your life, or you feel like that was about as fast you? Uh, I don't know. Last week I thought I was running pretty fast, but you know, <laughs> I have no idea. If, you know, if I ran faster today or, or last week, but it was, you know, in all, it was just a great, great team win. And I, I can't thank the coaches and the, and the players enough. And my team. When you were kind of visualizing today, maybe earlier in the week, did you ever see two touchdowns? I think about 150 yards. All this stuff. I mean, could you? Was it? Or is this just beyond what you could even imagine? Yeah, I mean, this is. This is awesome. You know, I, like I said earlier, I really, I really don't know what to feel. You know, this is just a surplus of emotions. Um, I definitely didn't imagine to have the day that, you know, that, that I had, but that's just, you know, like I said earlier, it's just a credit to the coaching staff and a great game plan coming in. The offensive line, receivers, A-backs blocking amazingly. You know, I, I, I can't thank my teammates enough because, you know, my, my success is, is their success and, you know, anything that the A-backs do, you know, it's just a team, a team win. And I just, I'm so happy for the seniors and, and all those guys that, They've worked so hard through all the, you know, from the coaching change, just you know, stuff like that. You know, they've gone through so much, and for them, for us to get a win like this today, for that's awesome for those seniors and this coaching staff and this just the Citadel program, you know, because we got something something special going, and, and I'm really excited about. It. Were you touched on that touchdown run uh, at the end? Do you remember if there was uh, any late game talk? There may have been a hand on me, but I, I don't think I was touched. Like I said, the offensive line mm -hmm. did a great job blocking, and I really didn't get touched. So. I asked Dom, um, what does a win like this in this environment kind of do for the uh, program going forward? And, you know, this is a great, obviously this is a great momentum boost. Um, you know, all the alumni and fans were, that were here, you know, I, I appreciate all their support today. Um, but, you know, as for a program, a game like this to win against an SEC, FBS team, you know, when, when nobody is going to count us to win this game, it's, a, it's great for the FCS level and, and it's great for our program um, just to show that, you know, we can – when we get on the field, we can compete with, with anybody, and we believe that. All right. Thank you.